There it is. We are here. Hola, mi compadres. It's Gavin San here. The sun is nearly setting down in central Mexico as I cruise around running errands and filling my little bicycle bag up with things to for the weekend, right? It's the weekend. There's there's a shindig in town. It's like the wine and cheese festival, so there's concerts and stuff. But you know what I just saw? Howdy, y'all. This probably won't be a very live stream. It's kind of windy, and if I drive around too much, it'll probably blow the mic. Blue, Joe, Joshua, all you guys. Shout out. Shout out to our Patreon subscribers. So look what I found. Here's a Dulceria. Now, there's a couple of these around town. They're pretty common. There's a cute little girl. Look at that cute little Mexican girl. Hola, chica. She's like, I don't know about him. Okay, so this is a candy store, and they have like, oh man, it's like a gold mine. Look at this stuff. Okay, so let's just do a little shopping here. Hormigas. This is, uh, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. But we'll try it, because it's only a dollar for the whole package. So these are like bulk packaging that people would get uh, if they were doing, uh, if they were doing, you know, like selling from a vendor or something. It's, it's almost like going to a fireworks stand. I mean, look at all this stuff. All packaged up. You guys can tell me if you recognize. This one is Kubre Manzanas. Boy, this is like the, the traditional candy here. I don't even know what this is, but we're going to get some. Thank you, Marie. I will uh, think about that. We may go visit San Miguel again. Okay, let's see. Uh, what else? These are very popular. You guys may have seen these. They sell these for about 10 pesos a piece on the street. But they're like, uh, well, they're like this right here. Except for not always with chocolate. That one has chocolate on it. Almost like a peanut butter candy. All right. So let's see if there's anything else I've tried. I'll get those ones. E these are uh, Malva Bone. 26 pesos. That looks good. That looks like a marshmallow with strawberry and chocolate. Okay. Let's get one of those. What else we got? There's so many that I don't even know where to start, guys. This is... Uh, all kinds of stuff here. What are these? These look interesting. Again, they're about like a good value. These will go in my little candy shrine at home, which we gradually eat. Little hearts. I think those are marshmallow hearts is what I'm guessing. Yeah, chocolate covered marshmallow hearts. That whole box is two bucks. So that's not bad. We should try those. Yeah. I don't know how I'm going to carry all this stuff, but we'll try. These are like little fizzy powders. These are cool. Limon 7. <laughs> Thanks, Trail. Cheryl's buying me some candy here. Appreciate the candy shot. The kids will thank you. What are these? Chocolate with milk and relleno sabor rompope. I don't know those last words. I know what chocolate con leche is. I'm guessing it's a chocolate ball, like maybe a malted milk ball. All right. Um, let's see here. What else? We can't try everything today. There's more on this side. It's just crazy. It just goes on and on. Here's all kinds of little marshmallows. What are these? I bet my kids would like these. These are like little cones. Okay, I think we're going again. These uh, pintatis, these are very good. These are like gum with juice inside. Now don't think I'm like gonna eat all this today. I mean, this might last me for months. Okay, I'm just like stocking up here because I saw they were open. And one of the things, like, you can get anything down here, but, uh, um, including alcoholic eggnog, yes, I see that around. But, uh, the day that they're open is not always consistent. A lot of times, the, the way it works here is when they feel like opening, they open. Tico Rindo. These are tamarindo candies. With, there's a tamarindo with chili. Um, chili paso. These are lot, lots of, lots of tamarind candies. The problem is, I don't know which my favorite is. So, like, tamarind is very tamarind. Tamarind is kind of sweet. Uh, and then they put chili on it. It's a very natural candy. Most of these in here are, like, not your mainstream candies. They're very natural candies. I think I'll try this one. Uh, tamarind flavor. Now, this is artificial tamarind flavor. I don't want that. I want, I want real tamarind. All right? So you guys get the idea. Thanks for the super chat. I might have missed one of you guys in there, but I appreciate it. 
we'll buy a couple candies here and then I'll, I'll let you know. I don't know what this is, but uh, we're definitely gonna try it because why not? It's called, it's like a caramel. It's like a little cookie with a caramel, it looks like. And there's a whole string of them on there, which is cool. It's super. Uh, there's a lot of spicy, a lot of spicy candies. Tinny's mm. uh, Tamarind de Naturel. Maybe. Oh, there's more. There's, uh, ah. There's Popa. Oh, there's solo Popa. Okay. ¿Qué es más bueno? ¿Es bien? Okay. Bueno, está bien. Oh, here, the, here we go. Yeah, it's like a tamarind st on a stick is what it is. Okay, I think it's sufficiente. Um, we'll get the rest. There's, you know, I see junk food candy and like, you know, fish. Here's these fish things. What are these? These look good. These are gummy bears. They're shaped like fruit. Um, those are different. Gummy ball. See, these are things you never, like, you never see these in the States. I should get some gummies of some kind because I bet my daughter will really like some gummies and I won't have to worry about her choking on them. So these are weird. These are like, I guess blackberries is the idea. Um, we'll try those. And a lot of the candies here, yes, do use real sugar versus high fructose corn syrup. Of course, you have to look. It does vary, but especially the more traditional candies. Let's see what this one has. Mm, it's hard to read. Gomitas? Is fruta? Is the Zazamora? Ah, okay. Bien, bien. Okay, it's total. <laughs> <laughs> There's a pinata for you guys right there. How about that one? These are giant bags of Cheetos. Wow, look at those. Look at the size of these Cheetos. It's like a 50 gallon bag of Cheetos, okay? I just don't, I can't carry that on the bike. I have no room for it. So, it's Macchiato Grande. These things are good. These are, these are coconut, but I have enough. Uh, okay, uh, Florence, por favor. De cuatro o de dos? Ah, uh, hmm. <laughs> este dos. Es dos, es cuatro. Okay. Okay. So that was uh, three eighty, guys. Three eighty, just under twenty dollars. Okay, so hang on. I'm gonna put my helmet back on, and then I'll get the camera stabilized again. Okay, sorry for being all, all over the place there, but uh, when I'm one-handed, it's just kind of hard. When it's tired, it's gracias. So, okay, this is like, let me just show you guys. Hola, Pato. Here's the bag of candies that I got for 20 bucks. So, it's good. That'll last me for a while. A lot of stuff I've never seen. And uh, there's the pair of those. They're like, they're like he, he looks, 
Ringo. Ringo is muy suspicious. Paddles. Paddles. Okay, so, uh, there we go. Yeah, I need a bigger bag. Uh, you know, this is very good. I like this one. It works quite well, but it doesn't hold a lot. But I do like that it's sturdy. It's the Iberia, and I can use the mountain bike functions with it, and it doesn't uh, drag because this is a full suspension rig. So, okay, it's starting to get dark. I think I'm going to swing it around and head back to me family. Let me turn the motor on. Dogs are not into me right now, okay? So, I'm just gonna vamos here. Okay, so I gotta see what we'll do. Here's the routine, there's the pharmacy. It's just the evening bustle, all right? Everything's looking good. This bag, this bag is huge and I need to hold it up. So I may need both hands to get home. Uh, back here, we've got the pharmacy. Fruiterias. It's busy. It's bustling down here. You can see like it's the weekend coming on. Everybody's riding their motorcycles and people are going about their business. There's a concert in town. And so it's like, it's just kind of, kind of hectic around here and I don't want to get run over. So, uh, um, yeah, it's good. I will eat this slowly. But, uh, one of the things I've noticed is most of the candies here that are made here, not the imported ones, but a good portion of the ones that are made here are actually made with real sugar, just like the Coke is because sugar is not expensive here. Uh, it hasn't been, uh, you know, we haven't we haven't uh, destroyed the economics of sugar in Mexico, like <laughs> the United States, I guess. They just want to peddle that high fructose corn syrup into us. So uh, you should still moderate. I wouldn't eat the whole bag. I mean, I probably got like 10 pounds of candy in here, at least. So, uh, all right, guys. Well, uh, I'm rooting for you. Resist Blue Isis. Try to stay out. I'll, I'll review your comments a little more later, but I see you guys in there. Um, I can't respond to individual issues of people saying they need help and stuff. It's just no way to do that on a live stream. As I've said many, many times, um, you know, there's not, there's honestly not much I can do about the chaos in the U.S. There is no law in the U.S., but I can try and keep the message going and uh, get people to resist and hope that uh, countries like Mexico recognize the USA for the third world country that it is and start welcoming people uh, without, uh, without question, basically, as they try to escape from the gas chambers and it's really bad there and people don't realize how bad it is i mean we got people like bruce Doucette. bruce Doucette just got 38 years at his age that's life he just got 38 years in prison today you guys for filing papers that's it just for filing papers with the government to redress his grievances they charged him with like 18 felonies and he just got 38 years in prison okay do you understand you got to understand this and we'll talk more about this jeff winehouse they're raking him over the coals Schaefer cox you know, the blacks, the whites, the Megans, it's, it's constant. It's constant. So stay out of that gas chamber. Keep loving your neighbor. Keep speaking out. I'm going to go so I can drive because just the roads are so busy tonight and I don't have a mount or anything to put my phone on right now. Just wanted to show you the candy store, the Dulceria. That, that was a Dulceria and each one is different. They each have different things and they're always very cool. It always kind of is reminiscent to me of like when you go into the, uh, the fireworks stand or something and you know that, that was always a memory for me i always loved fireworks of course they have those here too year round uh, in mexico but the dulceria just all the colors and the packagings and it's not all these name brands it's it's really cool so guys thank you for uh your likes and supports and shares and all that kind of stuff uh keep speaking out i will try to do the same and uh we'll keep uh, we'll keep resisting keep speaking up for our prisoners tear those tear the walls down literally and figuratively from the borders to the prisons and stop letting us be driven by fascism all right you guys be safe this weekend peace